Okay, we have to convert the following n fix expressions into reverse Polish notation. Let me quickly explain a few rules to you before we start solving these uh, questions. Okay, and the rule is if we have an operator between two variables like we have w and x here, that operator is going to be moved to the right. So, so w plus x becomes w x plus. So, this is your solution in RPN. Okay, let's take a look at this one. In this, first, according to the board mass rule, first we have to solve for multiplication, right? So, this is the first expression we are going to solve. So, b star c becomes what? b c star, right? this expression has been this operator has been moved to the right so what we effectively have is a plus b c star we've already solved this part now we have this and this and in between we have this operator right so we have this operator in between these two values right uh, uh, these two parts right and this operator needs to be moved to the right so now what we are going to get is a b c star uh, plus so that's a solution this is RPN and what if we had something like this a plus B star C in this case we need to solve the bracket first right according to the rule so this becomes what a B plus right and then you know this uh, then comes the star and then comes the C so this is the part that we've already solved and now we have an operator between this part and this variable C so this operator needs to be moved to the right so our final answer is going to be a B plus C star okay so now we're going to solve for this expression first we are going to solve for the bracket right so a plus b becomes what a b plus so that's one thing that we've solved and c minus d becomes what c d minus that's the second one we have solved and we have a, an operator between this and this so this operator needs to be moved to the right so our final answer is going to be a b plus c d minus star Okay, next what we are going to do is we are going to solve for this expression. Okay, before I start solving this, one thing we must understand is uh, we can write minus a, you know, this can be written as 0 minus a. These are the same thing, right? 0 minus a effectively is minus a, right? So, we can write down this above expression, this expression as 0 minus a slash b star 4 slash c minus d I just wanted to explain you know uh, one way of solving this how are we going to solve for minus a right remember this is an operator and we were thinking that there's nothing on the left hand side so I told you that this can be considered to be something like this right okay now we can solve it first we're going to solve this bracket and this operator goes to the right so this becomes what a minus we don't really need to put a zero here so we can simply write it down like a minus right okay once we are done with this now we have to solve this bracket also right so we can say a minus slash b star 4 slash c d minus so we've solved this bracket right c d minus right and we've solved this part also okay now one thing you should know is the board mass rule right uh, where you know we we decide what needs to be done first and what needs to be done afterwards so anything in bracket needs to be solved first right but as far as division and multiplication are concerned uh, they carry equal weight so you can perform division first or multiplication first you know it doesn't matter they have the same weight right so there is no preference as far as these two are concerned okay so how do we solve an expression like this so what we have now is a minus slash b star 4 slash c d minus right we are done solving this we are done solving this part and we have 
a division left and a multiplication left and a division left so we move left to right right because you know it doesn't uh, so the order is moving left to right and what we do is a minus and b you know in between these two we have what this division sign so this division sign needs to be moved to the right so this becomes what a minus b slash so we've solved this part right we solved this part and we are left with star 4 slash cd minus right okay now between this and this value we have the operator right uh, so we move to we need to move the operator to the right so this becomes what a minus b slash 4 star so we solve this part and we have slash c d minus left right now between this part and this part we have this operator so this operator needs to be moved to the right and what do we get now a minus b slash 4 star c d minus and this needs to be moved to the right so this becomes slash so this is our final answer and so this is our final answer okay let me quickly just solve one more so that you know we have more practice um, as far as this expression is concerned the first thing that we need to do is division right so this becomes what r s slash right so we solve this and now we are left with p plus q minus r s slash moving left to right um, this is the first one this is the first operator so this gets mo this we move it to the right so this becomes what p q plus so we solve this we have minus r s slash and now this operator moves to the right and our final answer is going to be p q plus r s slash minus okay next it says that we have an interpreter that is that is going to solve this rpn expression right using a stack so let's solve this okay then so this is the rpn expression right that we want to solve this is the rpn expression and these are the values right of the variables right and this is a stack okay let's get started the rule is to go left to right okay so just remember this rule okay when we come across a variable going left to right the first one is x we push the value of x onto the stack the value of x is 2 so we push 2 onto the stack okay moving further to the right we come across another variable which is w so we push the value of w onto the stack remember previously the stack had 2 and now we push the value of w which is 1 on top of on top of the stack okay moving further to the right we have z and the value of z is 4 so previously we had 2 and 1 on the stack and now we push this value 4 on top of the stack okay moving further to the right we come across an operator when we come across an operator we remove the f we we when we come across an operator right we remove the top two values from the stack and we solve for these values using this operator so the so the expression becomes what 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 equals what 5 so previously we had 2 on the stack and then the result of this operation is 5 so we push 5 on top of the stack okay moving further to the right we come across y okay so the value of y is 3 so previously we had 2 and 5 on the stack and now we push 3 on top of the stack moving further to the right we come across this minus sign so minus is an operator when we get an operator we remove the top two values from the stack and we solve using this operator right and this becomes what 5 minus 3 remember it is always the bottom value first then the operator and then the top value so this is equal to 5 minus 3 and not 3 minus 5 so 5 minus 3 equals 2 so previously ha we had this 2 on the stack and now the result of this calculation is also 2 so we push the result back onto the stack moving further to the right we come across this operator multiply right so we are going to remove these top two values from the stack 
and we are going to solve them using this operator 2 into 2 gives us 4 so this 4 is our final answer this is pretty simple and hopefully you've understood it in this question we've been given an rpn expression and we have to convert the rpn expression into infix so this time we have to go the other way around right okay uh, so let's solve this question all right so how are we going to convert this well going left to right that's the rule we go left to right we look for the first we we'll, we look for the first operator when we reach this point we take the previous two uh, variables and we are going to move this plus between these variables so this becomes what x w plus c right so we've solved this part and then we have y minus star left right so once again we move left to right and this is the first operator right uh, so, so this is the first one that we've not solved so far we've already solved this right so now this minus we need to solve so for this minus we pick the previous two and the previous two would be this and this right so this would become what this would become x and and we, we're going to move this minus in between these two right so so we're going to write what x w plus c minus y so we've solved this part and we're left with this star sign okay now we have this star operator moving left to right which we've not solved for this thus far and we have these two parts one and two right so how are we going to solve we're going to move this star in between these two so we're going to write x and x is going to be multiplied with all of this right so we're going to put all of these in the bracket w plus z minus y and that is our final answer okay and finally this part says explain one advantage of using rpn for evaluation of an expression remember rpn is used by the computer okay and you know we just solved this expression x w z uh, plus y minus star remember in this case there are no brackets right so the computer does not have to worry about brackets and it doesn't have to worry about you know it needs to solve the brackets right so that's one advantage computer doesn't need to worry about the brackets secondly in this case you know we are solving uh, for operators going left to right okay which means what the computer does not need to worry about you know uh, the rules of precedence it doesn't need to worry about you know whether um, I'm going to solve for divide first or multiply first that's what we don't have to worry about we simply go from left to right and as soon as we reach an operator we solve that operator and then we move further we find the next operator and we solve for it then we move further we find the next operator and we solve for it so no brackets no need to remember rules of precedence so these are the advantages for the computer So we've written down our answer, right? No need for rules of precedence. Computer doesn't need to remember anything, you know, whether plus comes first or we have to divide first or multiply first. So no need for rules of precedence, no need for brackets in RPN form. And the evaluation of operators is always left to right, right? We've also discussed this.